casting is a crucial part of the filmmaking process. Choosing the right actors to portray certain characters can make a film immersive and engaging to its audience. When it comes to the film adaptation of Fight Club, I personally believe the casting was exceptional. In this video, I'll tell you why the casting for Fight Club was just so perfect. Before we get into the infamous Tyler Durden, let's start with our narrator, played by one Edward Norton. In my opinion, Edward Norton was the perfect actor for this role. Why? The narrator is supposed to represent the everyday man, the average Joe, so to speak. So, of course, he should look and be, well, average, plain, if you will. And with respect to Mr. Norton, I can't think of a more plain actor. He doesn't have any particularly striking features, but at the same time, he isn't bad looking. He isn't in particularly great shape, but at the same time, he's not in horrible shape. He doesn't have a particularly commanding voice or presence, but at the same time, he doesn't sound feminine or go unnoticed. Edward Norton, with respect, oozes the averageness that the narrator represents. Would you agree? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's talk about the infamous Tyler Durden. Tyler Durden is the narrator's distorted image of masculinity. When you think of the hypermasculine male, you may think strong features and muscles. So, who else but twice voted sexiest man alive Brad Pitt to play Tyler? I look like you want to look, I fuck like you want to fuck, I am smart, capable, and most importantly, I'm free in all the ways that you are not. There's a little bit of irony behind casting Brad Pitt, particularly when the narrator says things like, I felt sorry for guys packed into gyms, trying to look like how Calvin Klein or Tommy Hilfiger said they should. Is that what a man looks like? <laughs> and here we see Tyler, the quintessential male model and actor, with a shredded six-pack. I imagine he spent a lot of time in the gym preparing for this role. Now on to the mysterious Marla Singer. Again, another impeccable casting choice with Helena Bunham Carter. I mentioned in a previous video that Marla Singer is essentially walking death. Helena Bunham Carter, again with respect, is very pale, almost like a dead body. I also mentioned in a previous video that Marla Singer has virtually no true feminine qualities as they relate to the typical on-screen female archetype. Helena, again with respect, who's a beautiful lady, doesn't have particularly prominent feminine features. Also, how about Jared Leto as Angel? I love the scene in Lou's basement where Tyler gives his speech amongst the members of Fight Club. We've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars, but we won't. Ironic how this scene is spoken by a movie god and speaking to a rock star. Jared Leto, of course, being the lead singer of the alt rock group 30 Seconds to Mars. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Check out some others, drop a sub and click that like button, and you already know I'll be back soon. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.